For the Washington State women's rugby team, success has become the standard. After winning two national titles in four years at the D2 level, the Cougars made the jump to Division I collegiate rugby. After a year of adjusting to the increased competitive field in college rugby's top division, the number 16 Cougars are once again drawing national attention. Led by senior Ane Peterson, WSU is poised to turn heads in this weekend's round of 16. I, I think that we've come a long ways and even just compared to last year, like I think our team has grown so much and I believe that we can compete against these high-end teams. Going into this weekend, I truly believe that we can compete against them and potentially go on. I think it's a time to go to California and to kind of put our name out there. Whether we win or lose, showing California and USA Rugby and the teams in D1 that we're a team that's coming up and are going to be competitive this year as well as in the future. WSU will face Stanford in the round of 16, a familiar opponent for the Cougars who faced the number three Cardinal just two weeks ago in the Pacific Mountain Rugby Conference semifinals. Stanford handed WSU a 41-22 loss in the match, but for sophomore Emma Knapp, who was watching from the sideline, the Cougars displayed the passion needed to win this weekend's match. Seeing the energy of the team on the field, like. Our team did not back down. We gave them a fight the whole game, and I'm excited to actually have the opportunity to play with them this time. I think that we have to go out there with like, the idea that we're going to leave everything we have on the field. And for freshman Monet Hendrickson, the team's family atmosphere is what's driven the Cougars to success in just their second year at the D1 level. That's like one of the most important things because once you can work together as a team, you can pretty much do anything you want. Even if you don't have the money or the skill to do it, you'll figure it out. Saturday's matchup is slated to begin at 4.15 p.m. at Stanford. The winner will advance to the quarterfinals on Sunday, while the loser will play a consolation game Sunday morning. With the Moreau News Service at Washington State University, I'm Dustin Brennan.